this is Lenny from Free Market Media Group. What we're going to talk about in this video is how to add a blog post to your WordPress blog. Now again, we're just going to start off on the dashboard. So we have just logged in and here we are at the dashboard which we covered in the last video. Two ways, there are actually two ways to get to uh, the Edge blog post area. On the right side navigation, you can click on posts or in your dashboard under the little right now, you can go to post and this will actually take you to the edit posts page. And now we have two options here. We can click the little button right next to post that says add new or you could click the button in the navigation on the left. So let's go ahead and click that. Um, there are a lot of little pieces in here that we can talk about. But first things first, let's um, just go about through each area on what we want to do. So the very top where the cursor is blinking right now says enter title here. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is whenever you're adding a new blog post is think about all the components. There are actually seven components that, that can be at work at, with your blog post to help the search engines find you. The title is one, the body of the blog post is another, and so we will get in your category and we will get into some more of that later. But two things you want to keep in mind when adding your title. One, you want to make it very descriptive so that people get it, understand what the blog post is going to be about. But the second thing is, is you want to have it have a hook. You want to make people click on it. So it has to be descriptive. It has to have your keywords about what your blog post is about. And it needs to have a little bit of a hook. So it's interesting. You don't want to write blog post about gardening. That's a little boring, but you might say something like five steps to growing the best tomatoes ever. A little more interesting, right? So that's what we want to do, title first, and then right below the title, I'm in the big box. Uh, that's where actually the body of your blog post goes. This is where the content is. And now let's look just right above that big box. Um, in this area here that I'm outlining, uh, First thing you see is upload insert. And now to the right of that, it's, there are a couple different fields. Uh, the first one is for images. So it will allow you to upload and add an image. Then the next one is add video. Here's add audio. And the last one will be add media. Uh, we're not going to go through these today, but you know they're there. We're going to go in detail later. And then below that is you have a row of icons. Now you're familiar with these. You've seen these in almost any WYSIWYG editor, whether it's your email or even Microsoft Word. So what's cool about this is there's actually two rows. And uh, if you look through, you see the basics, uh, bold, italic, strike through, an unordered list and an ordered list. And this one, block quotes, really cool. Because what that will do is that will actually put some detail around a section of your text that will say A, this is important, or B, a lot of times you can use it if you're referencing another blog post or another article or something, say from Yahoo News or from the Wall Street Journal, and you're quoting that. The blog quotes are a really good way to do that. And then um, you can justify it left, center, or right. When I set up my blogs and set up the styles, I tell all my clients to ignore that because the styles are already set. So you really don't need to force the alignment any direction. And um, next, I'm going to have to add a little text in here. Uh, text for a link. So you can add a link. So to add a link, you would highlight. And then there's a little chain link button. You would click that. You get a little pop-up. And then you will put the URL. And it's the full URL you would put in here. Uh, and then I always do open link in a new window, even if it's on my own site. And the reason for this is, is if you have a link in the body of your blog post, the last thing you want to do is have someone click in the middle of their reading and send them somewhere else, or almost worse, send them to somewhere else within your site. You want to give them the opportunity to finish reading the article or your blog post, so that's why you would have the link open in a new window. So then when they're done looking at the new place and they close that window or tab down, they're back where they were originally. So then you can insert the link there. And now if you look at the very last button on the right, that's called the kitchen sink. What that does is it gives you a whole other row of icons. And now here you can style uh, using the regular paragraph or your different headings. 
And this can be useful again for search engine reasons. Um, I usually set up my blog, my WordPress, so that the H1, which has quite a lot of clout, is the title of the post. So I won't use that in the body of the post. But I will for titles, and especially little subtitles that are using keywords, I will use the heading two and heading three. So that's there. Here gives you the ability to underline. You can change font colors. Uh, personally, I don't really use that much because I again have the style set up. So maybe on occasion you really want to highlight something so you could use that, but it's there. And it's all relatively self-explanatory. Uh, so that's, that's where the body of the post goes. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to select a, select a category. So if this is your first blog post, WordPress has actually given you a default blog post, a default comment, and has set up a category called, wonderfully enough, uncategorized. Well, we don't really want to use the uncategorized category, and we'll cover later how to kind of get rid of that and change the name. So we'd add a new category, and so the category we might add is um, news. You probably want to do something a little more descriptive in this, but just to show you how it works. So we've added a news category. It's already checked, and we could at this point go ahead and publish, but we want to add one more thing. We want to add tags. Now the cool thing about tags is you've seen them a lot of times in the bottom of, of a blog post or on YouTube or on the bookmarking sites like Digger Delicious. And what's great about tags is as a user is in your site, you're giving them, you want to give them relevant information. You want to make your site sticky. So with tags, say I have a lot of articles, go back to the gardening example, about tomatoes. So I have articles about all kinds of gardening, but this particular article is about tomatoes. So one of my tags might be tomatoes. So what we're going to do is just go up to the title and we're going to call it tomatoes. No, really. Tomatoes. And uh, I'm really hoping that tomatoes actually has an E at the end because if I misspelled them, I'm a little embarrassed. I'll have to make up for that later. Anyway. So we would add, we would want to add a tag tomatoes. So what that would do is that would actually, uh, that makes a clickable link at the bottom of the blog post so that when the user clicks the, the tag that says tomatoes, it will return essentially search engine results, search results on your site of all the blog posts that you have tagged with tomatoes. And so it's very useful, but what it does also, again, let's keep talking about the search engines, is it gives you a page that's very dense content about tomatoes. So that's good. So those are the three things in this thing, in this little piece, uh, adding your first blog post, we're going to talk about the title, where to put your text in the main box, the body of your blog post, uh, your category, and the fourth thing, your tags, and then you go ahead and publish. And once you publish, we can actually take a look at that. And there we go. And there's the there is the link. And there it is. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go back. And that is your basic adding a post to WordPress. Rock on guys, and I will catch you soon.